Hi, Dan at Marginally Clever here, and we've been putting together a Michelangelo 3. Earlier in this same video, we uh, put together the LCD mount, the controller, the motor mounts, and the pen holder, and the counterweight. Now we're ready to start putting it on this board. I've used a three by four foot piece of uh, wood I got at the Home Depot. They uh, have a saw there that they'll cut it for you. You pay for a four by four foot sheet and you leave them with a one foot piece. I also marked out, I measured across the top here and from the middle, I measured that same amount down to find this point, okay? I also wrote, I measured out in millimeters the size of this board and I wrote them on the top edge because I'm going to need those numbers later when we get to the software calibration. To mount the LCD and the controller, I bent a piece of coat hanger and I hooked it on the top. Um, feel free to experiment with different designs for your mount. And let's get right onto it, okay? It's much easier and more entertaining to do this with a friend. Now I'm tightening the screws on the corners here. All four of the screws should touch onto the corner of the wood so that this point is right on the corner. Now I'm pinching the wood here. I'm pinching the wood because it gives me a little bit more screw to tighten on and then the wood pressing out on the screw, they hold the two, they hold each other together and keep this nice and sturdy. All the screws here should be unmoving at this point and the machine should run quietly. If you hear buzzing of any kind or if the volume suddenly goes up, then the first thing I would do is check that these screws are all still tight. One of them might have come loose and is rattling on the screw. Now our counterweights, I come up from below, over the top, and back down inside the four screws that go into the motor. You, can you hear that sound maybe on the video? If you can, that's the motor turning when I'm pulling the belt. If you watch the lights here, you see, you don't, a, a motor can also function as a generator. And when I'm doing this, it's actually pretty bad for the electronics, but I'm doing it to demonstrate that that can happen and try not to do that. Now, for the pen holder, it's as simple as putting the loop over the screw. The, the belt position can be adjusted to get good uh, based on the type of marker that you put in and the size of your board. It changes the balance over time. Now I'll do the other side, which is a repeat. So, remember that for the Michelangelo 3, the red and the white wires need to be swapped when you plug them in. Um, and otherwise, the servo won't move and your pen won't lift. It won't break the machine, but you won't get the movement you expected. So if you think, if you put it together and your servo doesn't move, this is the first thing you look for. The last question, how much belt do you actually need for your Michelangelo? If you're building our default size at three feet by four feet, we put three meters of belt cut in half. One meter, one and a half meters on each side is plenty. The measurement that's important when this bottle is at the top, that is the lowest point you can reach with your pen holder. 
when this bottle is on the floor, that is as high as you can reach with your pen holder. These are the two corners, that distance from one end to the other, plus whatever this extra is, that's how long your belt needs to be. In this case, we're actually using about 120 centimeters of belt, so there's a little bit of extra that we fold it over and we store it in here. If you're planning to get out of the, bo out of the box, the kit has the three meters of belt. If you're planning to go big with spray paint or, or extension cords, then feel free to drop us an email and consult or check in our forums and we'll be happy to kind of give you advice on how to do it right the first time. So now it's all built. Don't forget there's a, an SD card on this side to run wireless, uh, unconnected from your PC. There's a USB connection right here. This is a mini USB connection for calibration and running it the first few times. And the last thing to do is to plug in your power. And now we can move on to the software. Congratulations, you've built your Michelangelo 3. Good job getting it this far.